Good morning, it's Amy Simpson from Breathe, Believe, Achieve and I wanted to talk about self-care and often with um, people that I kind of see on a one-to-one -one basis or people that come into groups, the thing that we talk a lot about is that we have to create time for self-care. We can't, if we are waiting for somebody else to create the time for us, it's never going to happen. So we need to be able to prioritise that time for us um, and maybe that is about learning to say no to other things. So maybe that's about, you know, if you have family commitments, even if you've got young kids, um, it's also about acknowledging that really you need your own time as well. And it's it's helping, finding ways or helping um, your family to appreciate that actually five or ten minutes, having five or ten minutes to yourself means that actually when you're with them, how you're going to show up, how you're going to feel when you're with them, you're going to feel much calmer, you're going to feel much more relaxed, your ability to be present is going to be much easier. And it's remembering that sometimes, even if we start with taking five or ten minutes to ourselves, sometimes, I mean, maybe not so much now because a lot of things are happening online, but in the past people would say, but I don't have that, I don't have that hour to go to a class. I don't have that time to do this. Now, with the current situation, with everything that COVID-19, all of the challenges that COVID-19 has absolutely thrown and thrown to us, what it's also created though is space. It has created some time. But what we need to do is look at how we make sure that we prioritise some of that time for us. So we don't give all that time away to everybody else, making sure everybody else is okay. We keep some of that time that's about making sure that we're okay. Um, and just building, building from building up from five or ten minutes. If you can find an hour, fantastic, and you will feel the benefit of that hour. But it's about that. It's also about the consistency of it. So it's not about finding an hour at the beginning of the month and not doing anything else again. It's about finding little bits of time in every day that you can really invest in you. And I promise you, I promise if you take the time just to do something purely for you, whether it's as simple as I know one thing I've been doing at the moment with the, this, how lovely this weather is. I work in my conservatory, it is flooded with light. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll open the window, I'll open the door and I'll lie on the floor just in that lovely sunshine, just taking five minutes just to breathe, just to close my eyes, just to allow my body to settle, just to give me a little bit of space, a little bit of time. It could be that you simply... Um, just maybe you've got a lovely view from a window in the house. Maybe you just take five minutes just to look at the view. Maybe you just, or maybe it's when you're out on your daily walk. Maybe it's just about really kind of noticing everything that's around you. So remembering self-care doesn't need to be difficult. It can be really, really simple. It's just about making that commitment to time. And you, we all deserve it. We all deserve the time. So making sure that we put ourselves at the top of that list every so often. Okay.